Hi, my name is Nils Boos. I'm the CEO of GOMSpace. At GOMSpace we make uh, nanosatellites for the space industry. We are a technology provider uh, that are building satellites uh, and, uh, and helping the customers to fulfill their dreams uh, in space. I have been asked to answer four questions. Uh, the first question is, what is the, the, the key trends in the space in industry? And obviously that an, uh, question would be answered uh, from our perspectives of nanosatellites. The second question is how that, uh, those trends will affect us in GOM space. Uh, how, and the third question, what is our greatest opportunities? And last, our biggest challenges. Um, the key trends in the satellite industry as we see them uh, is that the, the, the satellites uh, goes, uh, and the satellite industry goes towards smaller satellites. Uh, satellites with shorter lifetime, uh, we are aiming at five year lifetime. Uh, that means that we can operate on the technology curve uh, in a way that whenever there's new technology uh, come out, we can, we can uh, develop it into the new satellites that are going to be sent up uh, continuously in this world. Uh, the, the, um, the services that will be made will consist of constellations of satellites, many, many satellites, from hundred satellites to thousands of satellites for, for specific services. Uh, and uh, those satellites or those constellations will continuously be replenished by new satellites and old satellites taken out of orbit so they burn up in the atmosphere. Uh, and um, we will see in the future, we will see many new services, services that we do not even know about today. <clears throat> this will influence uh, GOMSpace in a number of ways. The first way is that we will grow fast. We do already grow very fast at the moment. Um, and uh, it will, this will mean that we will be developing uh, uh, an industrial production. Uh, instead of building satellites that are uh, prototypes and then send into space, we will actually start uh, a, a specific industrial production of, of serial production of nanosatellites. Um, to do that, to, to fulfill uh, everything that we need to do, we, we are building an, an international organization. We are in Aalborg, we are in Uppsala in Sweden, we are in Washington and we are in Singapore as well. Um, we will also be involved in developing new applications. The space industry today and the developing of the new, the new uh, applications uh, is, is, usually hap is usually happening from the space, uh, from space people and not so much from the service providers. That will probably come later when they start realizing the opportunities for, for, the, uh, for, for new services with uh, space technology. <clears throat> um, the, the, uh, our biggest opportunity is the, 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 to, to work fast down the learning curve and the scaling curve for industrial production so that we can, we can provide the market with very uh, low cost, very efficient uh, nanosatellites uh, that can be used for many, many different types of services. In our specific instance, our uh, uh, biggest opportunity is uh, to work with radio technology. We are living in an area here in Aalborg where radio technology is, is very strong uh, and uh, also the fit between very uh, small size technology uh, component as it is today and the very small nanosatellites is, is, a, is a, a perfect uh, fit for making professional solutions. Uh, our biggest challenge uh, at the moment is to execute the growth. We are growing very, very fast. Uh, we, we can luckily uh, get a lot of uh, very, very experienced people here in, in, in Olbo, uh, with, uh, with the uh, in the area of radio technology. But we are also very attractive for uh, foreign engineers to coming to Denmark to work uh, uh, with space, and that's especially uh, space engineers. We are uh, up, uh, up to about 10 uh, uh, people from 10 countries working in our company. <clears throat> Uh, the other big challenge is to drive the chains, because uh, to fulfill uh, the, 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 uh, the, the biggest uh, opportunities and, and to exploit the biggest opportunities, the, the market uh, will also need to understand the chains uh, that, that, that this, can, uh, this can bring with it. Uh, and this is obviously something that we are doing, uh, uh, working a lot with. We are not only working with this alone, we have a, a number of very important competitors, which we also regard as colleagues, that helps us drive that change. Um, the other thing is that uh, to be able to work uh, uh, all over the globe, 
uh, and serve our customers all over the globe, we are also building an international organization. And that is obviously also a, a big challenge for a small company that is 10 years old uh, and in, in a very new industry. It is, however, uh, uh, things that have been done before, and it's not anything that we need to in invent uh, from from the from the beginning. Um, the future of the uh, of the space industry, uh, or this uh, segment of the space industry, uh, is uh, uh, we do see from from the area of uh, of exploitation of the low Earth sphere of the world, like continents uh, uh, that have been discovered and, and later industrialized. We also believe that the low Earth orbit of, of the of the Earth is up for an industrialization, uh, and. Uh, we, we are thinking, uh, uh, sometimes thinking along the way, that we are moving electronics uh, equipment from towers placed all, all over the world into spacecraft uh, where the instruments are, 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 are flown on spacecraft and, and in that way uh, be able to cover much more of the Earth in a much more efficient way than, than, than building towers. Uh, as I said earlier, a lot of new services are being developed uh, and uh, that it will give rise to uh, a, a basis for, for, for growth in many, many years into the future. Many of the services we don't even know about today because the satellites that we have known uh, so far have been very, very expensive and the business cases were never there. Those business cases are coming up now uh, with this new technology and that, uh, that is a very exciting uh, development uh, in the market. Um, the, the market will also be, be, be driven of a number of very, very narrow niches. There's not uh, 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 one solution that will cover uh, everything in any of the niches because there's always new ways, cheaper ways, uh, more efficient ways to do it whenever a new constellation or a new uh, uh, a set of satellites are sent up. So that, we believe, will drive a lot of the growth uh, because of this, uh, of this competition. We believe in the future that there will be uh, many satellites beyond our comprehension today. Uh, I sometimes compare this to the, to the automobile industry in the beginning of the 19th century, uh, where, where uh, uh, we only had a few cars in, in, and, and in the middle of the century we had about 40 or 50 million cars. Today we have a billion cars. So we believe, uh, not with the same kind of numbers, but with very, very high numbers, that space will be will be much, much more utilized and eventually we believe that we will have a space traffic control uh, to regulate and, and navigate into space as we today have space, uh, air traffic control. Thank you very much.